Hello. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode for the Ultimate Iron Man. This is Fish Sunday and we are just about to get 60 attack. So I was thinking about what I should do after I get 60 attack. And the one thing that came to mind is I really should just suck it up and get the Ruin Pouch. I've just been really delaying it um, for a while, but uh, I guess spoilers right now, um, I did get it this episode. I did actually do some LMS before, maybe like two months ago. But at the time, I just really didn't want to do it. So I only got like nine points. But I ended up using most of it to get like the looting bag. I'm not a PKer, but luckily LMS is filled with a lot of bots. So at the least, I could get like one point a game. And if there was like no bots around, if I'm unlucky, I would honestly, I just let myself die. Because I figured it'd probably be faster just to get a new game and just kill bots than having to like survive the whole round. There were some games though, which uh, that I did just stay in. But yeah, for the most part, it was just bots. If I had to actually fight like other people like doing actual PKing, uh, this grind would have taken me much longer. We are at 45 points now. The last this game actually, um, I guess I won because like the other person died by the fog again. I'm glad I'm doing this because this is actually way easier than I expected. I mean, that's really all just thanks to the bots. But we're getting closer, just 30, po 30 more points away. Man, just this night, I had like 6 points, now I'm at 56. It's really hard whenever I'm like in these these big maps, because all I want to do is just die after one kill. That's probably the fastest way for me to get points. Uh, I need 11 right now, I think I'm 60... Kind of hard to find with all the spam. What about 62? Wait, I could have sworn I was like 60, yeah, 64, okay. Is he, I think he's a bot? Holy, got second place that one. I, I keep forgetting to like, I should start recording like before i die but kind of get caught up in a moment that is one kill so we got one point uh that'll bring us to how much do i need two three right 73 now so what i can do is i could try to get third to fourth place for three points or i could just die and just do like three more games honestly either one is like easy to do probably dying getting one kill and dying is like this um the faster the faster way to do it i really cannot talk right now yeah, I'm just gonna die to this person right here. Kill me. It's too bad I couldn't get in ninth place because that would give me two points more. Yes, we are in ninth place. So uh, after this game, we will have enough to get the rune pouch finally. There it is, 75 points. I'm gonna switch worlds just so it's um, less people here. All right, let's trade Justine. Gotta put in my pin first. Here it is, the moment of, the, I was going to say the moment of truth, that, that that doesn't make sense. The ruined pouch. Firm. Oh yes. Finally, this is way long overdue. I definitely could have gotten this way sooner. Um, I just, I was just really lazy to do it. Because anything related to PvP, I just do not want to do. It also didn't take that long. I started this grind like 7.30 something. It's actually 1am right now, but um, I did like get off and I had dinner and whatever. So uh, it probably took maybe like four hours or three hours or something. So much more space now in our inventory. This is really helpful. Hey, I also got myself a new cape, the Victor's Cape, since I won like one time. Actually, I won two times, but this cape, you only need one win. This is like the first time I, I, I've ever gotten this. Moving on to doing some poor Piscarilla's favor. I actually have a reason for this and I'll tell you after I get to 100. Uh, pretty close, we're at 62 right now. Okay, so this is why I got 100% for Piscarilla's. What I'm going to do is I'm going to train cooking here. Uh, you could buy fish from this guy, Frankie. I'm going to have to hop here because there's no more fish. As I was saying, I'm going to buy the fish from there and I'm going to cook it. There's a range nearby here and there's also a general store so that I can sell all my fish. And basically, I'm just going to repeat that. Okay, I know there's better ways to get my cooking up, but this is one of the methods that I found from the wiki. And this, is, this doesn't seem that bad. I mean, it's pretty decent cooking XP. This is also really inefficient because you could probably just do fish and cook. While I'm going for the last level for 70 cooking, uh, I do want to say really quick, guys. Happy Chris. Happy Chris. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. More than likely, I'll be releasing this episode after the holidays, so also, Happy New Year. I also want to say thank you to everyone that has subscribed so far and has joined me on my UIM journey. I am not very good at expressing myself or making speeches, but uh, 
Yeah, I do really appreciate it. Also, I do want to say, so recently, uh, after I got 99 Thieving, I've been way more excited for this account, for the UIM, I mean. There is still so much for me to achieve, and I'm happy to share my experience with you guys, even though, you know, a lot of times I am very scuffed. But I think that's, like, the fun part of it, you know, learning the game, even though, honestly, I've been playing this game for so long. Thanks again, everyone, and I will see you when I get to 70 cooking. We are 22k away. Oops, I just missed it, but uh, we're now 70 cooking. We now have all the levels to complete the RFD subquest for King Awowo guy. Honestly, this wasn't so bad. Uh, the only thing is, I believe we spent like 600k. Like over, it was definitely over 500k. Hello everyone. So since it was the holidays, I uh, haven't really had time to go on, but I did go on mobile just for a little bit whenever I had a chance to. And I actually spent that time mostly just pickpocketing the master farmers. I also did the holiday event on mobile, which is why I have all these rewards right here. But I did get more I did get more herb seeds and also more limper seeds. So I'm just gonna do a farm run right now and then we will do the RFD for King Awowo guy. That is the last monkey moles that I'm gonna need. Uh I actually accidentally buried the, the ninja one, so I had to do it again. I am actually getting teleport out first because I do believe you could get hurt in the um in the cave even if you're a monkey. So I'm just gonna play it safe here. Before I forget, I do actually have to start the subquest, so here it is. Well, here's a problem. I forgot to bring an anti-poison. I think I should be fine though. The only thing that sucks is I don't really have any running right now, but yeah, I think we'll be fine. I mean the poison only hits me for one. No way. Oh, okay. I, I have to talk to him i was gonna say i clicked out of uh when he was making this talisman or the monkey griggy so i thought i lost it right that is it that is all the griggies i need we have the gorilla the ninja and the zombie so we are at the part now where i have to gather everything uh i think i'm just gonna take probably three of these guys or three of the snakes i was just reading this and i actually fucked up I was not supposed to use the knife, I mean use the bananas on the snakes yet. So I am gonna have to go back and kill more snakes. And also I can't even get to the agility cores because I went the wrong way. Everything is working so fine. Right, we are gonna do it proper this time. I didn't stuff the bananas in the snake. Right, now all we have to do is cook this thing. So let's hope that uh, I don't get lucky and burn all three. I mean unlucky. Hey, just one, nice. Sort of a waste of time to like gather three of them, but uh, it's better than um, you know, burning it and having to, having to go back and like get everything again. Right, with this, this should be the sub quest completed. Right, that is a sub quest for King Awowo guy. With that sub quest done, I can actually go ahead and drop all of these. Um, I don't think I'm gonna need these until like Monkey Man is two, which. You know, I won't be doing that quest for a long time. Hey, the next thing we're gonna do now is gonna be the Roving Elves, so I just prepared some stuff. Honestly, I don't remember this quest at all, but um, I was reading like the quest guide and we're gonna have to fight a moss giant. And it's kind of dangerous for me because, you know, obviously I could like die there, but I think I know what to do or I think I know, I think I know what I'm gonna do. Actually, um, it should be easy because you could use prayer on it. I'm actually, uh, I'm actually watching Slayer Muzi's guide right now and he's using prayer. Or he started using prayer. Still though, it is pretty worrying because like, if I death, if I death bank, I could just lose all my stuff if I die there. I could death pile. Uh, I, I just have to like, make it in time to get all my stuff. Also, it says here, I do have stuff in, um, Arno. But it's all the holiday stuff, so it doesn't really matter right now. I mean, it doesn't matter if I die and like I lose those stuff. Right, we just died. So now we're going to have an hour to get everything. I mean, to finish this part of the quest and then get everything back. Oh, we actually keep the peb pedal or pebble. Okay, this is kind of annoying because I was lagging in the beginning. And I wasted a ton of food on this. Uh, I was trying to like safe spot him and it wasn't working because I kept getting hit. Even though like his health bar was out. Like right now I just lagged. I clicked him. Nothing happened. And then... Kind of worries me because like what if I did lag and like I, I was hitting him and he hit me. It, it's probably, it probably wasn't a good idea that I took all my money with me too. 
Finally, that took so long, man. Uh, towards the end, too, I was, like, getting hit again, so... Yeah, I was... I could have died there. Before I do the next part of this, though, I am gonna get all my stuff back, so... I'm gonna have to wait two minutes to go to LMS so I can get a looting bag. Hey, I actually fucked up because I forgot to get the uh, amulet, which I need. And I already started picking up a lot of my stuff already, so... Uh, I'm gonna have to die again, I guess, later. Close to finishing the quest, and I have to choose, uh... Either a bow or a shield. I really don't think it matters, but I think I'll probably take the bow. That is Roving Elves completed. 10k strength and speed. The next quest on this list is actually Morning's End Part 1. But I can't do that yet because I do need 60 range. Uh, I don't think I, I don't think I'm going to go for that in this episode though. Wait, <laughs> I can't even use the crystal bow. Because I need double 70 range. I mean, to be honest, is it is this even like useful? I don't think people really use the crystal weapons. I guess for now, I'll just keep it in my looting bag, um, just so it doesn't take up any space. I'll probably still do some more quests this episode, but for now, I'm going to be doing some Temporas, uh, because I do still want to get to 65 fishing, for uh, because I haven't completed Type of Wanted Trio yet. Man, I got like three combat points from doing Temporas. Also, I have 34 permits right now. Um, I think I'm going to save it though. So on the last clip, I said that I was going to search the rewards later, but that ended up being a lie. This is everything that I've gotten so far. What is this one? Mime show? Nope. Yeah, this is everything I've gotten so far. I already put some of it in the looting bag. Uh, the food and the planks. The, pl the planks, I'm definitely going to keep. The food, I'll probably just end up dropping them or if I feel like it, I'll probably cook it too. The soak pages though, it's not really useful. I don't really I don't really want to keep another tome. But the one thing that I forgot about was actually the caskets that you get from Temporos. You get ruin items. Uh I forgot that you get jewelry from here. Pretty good for locking. Um the ruby necklaces I'm gonna keep because I can make that into dig side pendants. Everything else, I don't it isn't really useful for me. The silver bars I'll use for crafting. The tooth half of key, I I guess I'll keep it for now. If I get the other piece, that would be pretty cool. I'm gonna have to go and buy some nature ruins though. Oh yeah, I just forgot about this. The crystal bow, I'm gonna go ahead and just high alk it. The thing is, it's not really useful. It's 70 range and like literally every other weapon is better than the crystal bow. So yeah, let's go and get money from this. Wait, can I not high alk it? You can't, oh. Why does it give me a high alk value? What if I revert it? Will it... Dismantle? Can I have... Can I high, high alk this? Crystal weapon seed. I don't think I can. Alright, well... <laughs> I guess I'll just drop it. Put it down. Oh wait, um... I'm gonna drop this into my, uh... My regular account. Uh, oh well. I mean, that would have put us closer to uh, 11 mil. I now have the other half of the key so I could go and open the crystal chest, which I think I will open up the chest after I die. I'm actually going to go ahead here and build the clock making space. I might do a little bit of bird runs because uh, I do have some ruby necklaces. I'm going to go and do a bit of mahogany homes just because I have a lot of planes I could use. I was actually thinking though, maybe I want to get my construction up a lot more. The reason for that is because I kind of want to get a jewelry box. The problem is though, the jewelry box is like level 81. And it's going to take me a while to get to that level. Though you can boost it with the um, the stews. Okay, so for the rest of the night, since it's kind of late for me, I'm just going to go in AFK range. I'm actually thinking that I may as well just get to 60 range. Because the next quest for the uh, elf series is Morning's End Part 1. And for that quest, you need 60 range. There is a bit of a problem. I'm looking at the wiki for Morning's End Part 1. And one of the item requirements that I need is magic logs. I don't have magic logs anymore because uh, I died before. I guess this is not too big of a problem though since I could just do Winter Todd to try to get it. Besides Winter Todd, the other way to get magic logs as a drop is from Ents. So I may try my luck that way. Been doing a bit of AFK stuff on mobile so we are now 54 range. Uh, I also mined a lot of Volcanic Ash since I might have Ultra Compost. Elemental Workshop 2 is done. Hey, we got a smithing level from that, but no crafting level, I'm pretty sure. We are pretty close though, just 3.9k away. 
That is another quest done. Oh, that should get us the level, I think, right? I didn't know that that gives you crafting XP. Oh, we're so close. 67 farming. Oh, and also a new total level. You know what? We are close to getting two more requirements for Song of the Elves done. Two more levels for agility and three more levels for farming. So I think I'm going to try to go get it for this episode. That would be a nice way to wrap up this year. Honestly, I could probably also go for um, 70 woodcutting. But I think that would take that that's going to take longer than doing uh, agility and farming. Just did two quick games of Winter Tots, so maybe we could get some magic logs. Gold and diamond, one more. No magic logs. I completely forgot I was close to 55 crafting, but here it is. We can now make Dragonstone rings and also the Slayer helmet, which I forgot about too. So while I'm doing agility, there are some things that I do want to talk about. Uh, firstly, I don't think that I can get 70 farming before I want to release this episode. I thought I would have time before the New Year's, but I don't think I'm going to be able to because uh, I'm going to be busy over the weekend. It's already a Thursday here. So yeah, my farming is going to be at 67. I won't be able to get to 70. And the next thing is I have some, I guess, some resolutions for the New Year. I guess it's not really resolutions. I mean, it's more of just goals that I want to accomplish. The first goal is something that I've already been working on, and that is, of course, Song of the Elves. Honestly, after Song of the Elves, the next biggest goal I have in mind is to get the Quest Cape. I do think getting the Quest Cape next year is a pretty achievable goal for me. Uh, I don't think that I could get 99 in all of the skills next year. Of course, I do also want to get more 99s at some point. With this last jump, we will now be level 70 agility. Nice. Can now use the Paul Nivich courses and Taverly Dungeon, which is it's going to be really nice because uh, I can train player there. Oh, and the Fossil Island shortcut. With that level 70 agility achieved, that will be it for this episode and for this year. Some final thoughts. I never would have thought that I would have ever enjoyed UIM, but it has been really fun so far. Got my first ever 99 in old school runescape that's not fire making. There was definitely a lot of uh, scuffed moments, but I still quite enjoyed it. Once again, thank you everyone, and I will see you next year.